Mercurial is considered as the revision control system or the version control system in the similar way like Git, which is the popular version control system being used. In this tutorial, we are going to learn all about Mercurial starting from the scratch, understanding the environmental setup and many more. So dear friends, let's get started with this course and the first thing we will be discussing now is the overview of the course. So overview of the course is like, first of all, I'll give you the introduction about the Mercurial, like why Mercurial is needed. First of all, I would like to tell you that Mercurial is the distributed version control system in the similar way like Git, which is widely used by developers and comes as an alternative of Git. It is called as the open source software because it is free of use and includes various functionalities for tracking and maintaining the changes like the way Git has. But there are a few set of differences which we will have a look in our upcoming chapters. The complete course explains the basic concepts of Mercurial starting with the environmental setup and the basic examples which gives a better scenario about Mercurial which is used for the software development or even web development projects. Now when it comes to the audience, audience means who are the target people who need to understand about the Mercurial. This tutorial will help dev developers to understand Mercurial from the scratch. After understanding the examples in this tutorial, developer will reach a certain level of expertise in Mercurial. The examples will throw more light on concepts as well. And when I come to the scenario of the prerequisites, I will tell you that we assume that you have the better understanding of Git or you have undertaken the Git responsibilities like what is Git all about to handle various type of Java and non-Java projects Git has been used. And the similar way the standards are being followed in Mercurial. So a little bit knowledge of Git is a plus point if you know about this. If you want to know about this tutorial. So it will be good if you have some amount of exposure to the software development life cycle as well. And the working knowledge of web based and web non web based applications. The next thing comes is understanding about the Mercurial. So let's move on to the next slide comes with the introduction. So first of all, what is revision control system or it is also called as the version control system. Revision control system is nothing but a kind of a task or a process of managing multiple pieces of information with various type of files with the code base which is used by the developers. It is used as or it is also called as the version control system. Why? Because it maintains a track of having the various set of versions in it. And it is also used for the software configuration management. Managing multiple versions of even single file is error prone task. So to overcome this task, it is always beneficial to use a revision control system. Why there is a need for this? Because when I say that, uh, say for example, 50 developers are working for a project, there can be a chance that two or three developers may work on the same file. So how to manage the version of each developer? So there comes the scenario where you need to introduce some kind of a version control system or the revision control system. So various type of features of revision control system is that it will track the history and revolution of the project from the beginning. That is a very plus point. If there is some changes you made in the beginning and later you scrapped it out and now after some days, say for two, three months, you feel that uh, there is a need for adding even something more inside the project which was done in the beginning. In that scenario, you can go to the specific version, take the same code and apply it and check it like whether it is working fine or not. So this reduces the amount of work. Revision control system makes it easier to collaborate with multiple users. It helps user to recover from mistakes if any. The other important thing, revision control system helps to work simultaneously on multiple versions of the project. Now when it comes to Mercurial, Understanding Mercurial is also equally important. Mercurial is a free open source distributed revision control system. It includes a unique set of features that makes it particularly a good choice as a revision control system, which is used like it is easy to learn and use. It's a lightweight software. It scales in an excellent way. Mercurial is known for easy customization. The interface of Mercurial and the command prompt is easy to understand. The usefulness of Mercurial is not limited to some projects. So creating new changes and branches and merging them together to the main branch is the main feature of Mercurial. And it is written basically for various type of scripting languages. The basic language which is used in Mercurial is C and Python. Now comes why Mercurial is needed. Whereas I can say the first thing is that it 
is very beneficial for change management. Change management means managing various type of changes, keeping them or track on whatever the changes are done, managing those changes and reversing the history of the same. It includes a bug tracking tool as well. Bugs means the list of issues which are present over there. All the issues in the repository is tracked and once it is resolved, it will be visible through the version control system. Then we have the backup, like each version maintains the changes which are considered as a backup option. User can access these files and when needed, it can be used for rework purpose as well. There is no such scenario of blame game like a developer putting blame on someone else. This is like a simple thing which usually happens when many developers are involved in one project. So version control system of Mercurial keeps a track of whatever the commit has been done of all the commits. So there is no chance of blame game among developers as it becomes crystal clear as it becomes crystal clear of the last commit done by the user. So you can't put a blame on someone else. So this was about the basic understanding of the Mercurial. In the next chapter, we'll understand it even more with the basic terminologies and the concepts of the version control system. And then we'll move on to the environmental setup and later uh, chapters about Mercurial.